Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I won't even load in on the loading screen because there's nothing to see there right now. We have no hints about a new promo coming this Friday. We're still just wondering and waiting what that could be. But I want to talk about some content that could come today since it is St. Patrick's Day on this Wednesday. Happy St. Patrick's Day, right? A lot of green. Make sure you wear green so you don't get pinched. Uh, also, I want to make a quick comment about this. This is not a Watford kit. This is Monarchus Morelius from the Liga MX. I get comments in, down below on the videos because people think this is Watford. No, this is not Watford, but it is similar colors. So I just figured I would show that for a second. But today is St. Patrick's Day, and I want to talk about some of the content that we have had before on St. Patrick's Day. Talk about what happened last year, of course, because that seems to be, I think, the kind of content that EA could drop today on a Wednesday talk through some things and kind of honestly look back to FIFA 17 because there was some really you know interesting stuff they did back then too and uh, potentially talk about what that could look like if they did it uh, today as well. So last year we had these three SBCs right here. Or sorry, it was one SBC with a player pick option, um, I believe is how it was done. It was called the, um, the SBC was called the Boys in Green. And it was a player pick reward SBC um, it was an 85 rated squad with one in form and you got to pick one of these cards Obviously McGeady with the five-star skills Shane long with a massive upgrade and Seamus Coleman as well So I think there's possibility that EA do something like this again today Maybe they do flashback card design Maybe they do player moments because that is a little bit more green looking Obviously last year the flashback design was green so it kind of fit in well with St. Patrick's Day. Uh, last year in FIFA 20, we also had a players pack called Leprechauns and a four leaf clover puzzle SBC uh, that was like a, uh, I think it was like four different SBCs kind of built into one. And I think it gave you a 50K pack. So there was a there was some decent content last year on the date of St. Patrick's. There was also some objectives for an Icon Moments Best and Keen Loan as well as a St. Patrick's Day kit. So they didn't just forget about St. Patrick last year in FIFA. I don't think they're going to forget about it this year either. I do think it is possible that we get some sort of SBC today uh, related to a flashback card. Of course, if they're going to throw a flashback out there, they like to use Magidi or they like to use Shane Long, I think, possibly like Doherty. Um, you know, there's, there's honestly, I was looking through some of the Ireland players that are in this game. And, you know, EA could do the juice, right? They could juice them up and, um, and make them look really good stat wise. Um, but there, there's some interesting cards in here. Obviously, Shane Long has been like a FIFA legend for a long time. McGoldrick, right? They could they could juice up a, a Premier League striker, McGoldrick. I mean, obviously, the players that we could get today in an SBC might not be the most meta cards. Uh, Duffy, of course, did give him a huge pace boost. I think John Egan um, from Sheffield is also a uh, from Republic of Ireland. So there's... There's a lot of options for who they could juice up today if they wanted to make somebody. There's obviously McGeady, and he's hyped up because he's got the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot. Now, of course, he's in the English third league, uh, so he would need a huge boost, and he would only get some of those links. But, you know, maybe you keep an eye on guys like Icon Keen today. Obviously, if there would be some sort of SBC that would come out, maybe your Moments Keen uh, would have a little bit of market movement just based on the fact that those Ireland fans out there would want to try to link together maybe a new card or two if it was released uh, or something like that. Now, if you're looking to maybe invest in some sort of smaller SBC, like I think the most the most um, possible thing that we would get today would be some sort of like just a pack supply SBC that would be uh, requiring Republic of Ireland players. Now, of course, a lot of people always are speculative of the stuff and the Republic of Ireland players have already risen up. They're about 1.1 to 1.2K on the market right now for all the golds and the silvers are actually right around like 850 900 coins as well uh for these republic of ireland players so this has been invested in already i mean if you plan to do an sbc maybe just buy one or two throw them in the club and um do it that way so you're prepared i guess to do the sbc if you did want to do it when it comes out but i believe last year since they released the multiple sbcs that required those you need players from shamrock rovers and you need a you need one squad that had 11 players from the republic of ireland or northern ireland um and then i think there was another one in here i think it was actually the leprechauns sbc that required one players one player from the republic of ireland so last year they released multiple sbcs that required irish players 
and that did make them go pretty high and pretty expensive. Now, if they do that again this year, then they're going to go pretty high and pretty expensive. And buying at 1,000 coins will look like good value because they will probably go three, four, five thousand 5,000 coins possibly in the hype right away. But of course, if the SPC doesn't come, then you're looking at those non-rares uh, going back down to basically discard value. So there is some risk in that. Again, you are kind of waiting for EA to drop that content if, um, you know, that's you, you need them to drop that content to... to to make that stuff go up. So I don't like relying on EA for a lot of that stuff. Now, one thing I want to talk about, and honestly, I don't think this is going to happen because I feel like they would have to add some pack code, which there was added some pack code added last night. We'll take a look at that in a second. But the pot of gold SBC, this is an SBC that guys that played FIFA for multiple years remember because it was one of the craziest SBCs EA ever released. Basically what you did were there were a couple different uh, SB, there were a couple different choices you had. You had the green team SBC, you had the ultimate pot of gold, the mega pot of gold, and the premium pot of gold. And what it was, was you had to get these St. Patrick's players and you would, I think it was through objectives maybe or, or whatever it was. I forget how you got the players, but you would get these, you would get these players and you would, um, you would put them into this, these SBCs, right? The ultimate pot of gold SBC required seven St. Patrick's players nine gold players um so you had to put in the rest would be nine uh or gold players would be the rest of the squad after your saint patrick players and some of them had to be gold you had to have 100 chemistry and you got an ultimate pot of gold pack that was a guaranteed basically you know how you open a pack and you get that little like little token that says 3,000 coins or 1500 coins you would get one of those little pack tokens with a coin amount varying from 40,000 coins to 300k and i believe in typical ea fashion that this ultimate pot of gold sbc was not worth it because i'm pretty sure to get these saint patrick's day players i think it shows up here you had to get some of these guys right so you had to get coleman mccarthy you had to get some of these guys that were golds and there were only like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten or eleven of them that were actually golds maybe uh artur over here and randolph as well so like 11 of them that were actually golds so this this sbc with i think it was around like 100k if i remember correctly and you weren't even guaranteed to get your coins back. So it was just crazy though that you could do an SBC like this and it was for potential coins. Now this was the high tier one. There was another one that was like 300K or 30K to 150. It required less players. Then there was a premium one that was like 20K to 100K. I think I ended up doing the premium pot of gold just to see, I felt like I had a better opportunity to make my money back and I got like the 20,000 coin reward so i don't expect to see anything like that today um because i feel like ea would have to add some code to do that and of course there was some code added earlier tonight from footwatch this is like the most weird code ever man they tweeted this out welcome to foot a foot store pack called welcome to foot or a welcome pack that contains one lone icon player pick a lone team of the week player a lone 81 to 84 ucl card and a 180 to 84 overall rare gold player so i don't know what this is or what that has to do with the game uh right now there's been some funny tweets about it of course as people are talking about just what's been going on with the whole um icon moments debacle and the comments on that uh and there, i did post a video earlier uh tonight on that so sorry to spam with the upro uploads kind of like three uploads in a short time span so make sure if you haven't checked any of those out that you do go and check some of those out um because those are out there but uh, I do think we get some sort of St. Patrick's content today to finish off this concept. I do think we get some sort of SBC, probably like a pack supply SBC, uh, new team of the week today as well. So if it's a tradable one, you might have some extra supply for the team of the week that comes out today. Uh, we are expecting a pretty massive team of the week. If we talk about today a little bit more in general, um, we, we're expecting a big team of the week, which is contrary to what EA dropped yesterday in fifa right you've got benzema ronaldo potentially Messi in team of the week as well uh, in some predictions this is the footbin prediction it's got phil foden it's got muller tierney as well jesus navas uh included in the team as well as the stuttgart right mid south african i'm not even going to try to say his name that had a silver star card earlier this year uh his card would be nuts if that got in but um ea before i talk about road to the finals i'll talk about this for a second ea dropped in the game yesterday 
they dropped a weekend league plus objective. Uh, of course, they messed it up on console right away. I don't know if it's still messed up or not. Nah, they fixed it. But this was like some long code name uh, that we were making a lot of jokes about. But they added the weekend league plus objective for the second time in a row. Second week in a row. I think it's the fourth time this year that they are doing this. Uh, and usually when we get team of the weeks, when we have this weekend league plus objective, there hasn't been anybody good that has been in team of the week. So of course, Ronaldo was expected to be in maybe Messi, maybe Benzema. Uh, and the prediction that we just saw makes us think that we're getting a good team of the week. So I don't exactly know what is going to be happening. I hope that it is a good team of the week for all of us that want to grind weekend league and stuff like that. But, um, if Ronaldo is not in team of the week today, if Messi is not in, if Benzema is not in, I would not be surprised because whenever we had those weekend league plus objectives, it usually is not looking too good. But let's talk about UCL players for a second because there were some UCL games today. Of course, you've got these road to the final cards that are moving every which way on the market post game. Luis Muriel is down under 40,000 coins uh, as a very pacey and, um, in my opinion, meta. I think this guy would be described as meta. Four star, four star, high, median, 510. Obviously, this card is no longer live, right? But a pretty solid looking card. And if you need a Serie A team or if you have a lower level Serie A team, uh, maybe to do objectives or something, 38K for this card when his inform was 45K uh, is a little bit cheap. I'm expecting since these uh, these UCL cards, the road to the finals are pretty rare. I would not be surprised if this bounced back up a little bit. Now, another card that I talked about earlier today, even on the videos this week, was this Zakaria. Right now, he's 138,000 coins. He is actually up post game and this card is no longer live because City and Real Madrid were the ones that moved on through the competition but take a look at this this is this is kind of crazy and this has been the trend with the last two weeks for road to the final cards if they're meta after the game like very popular in meta right it happened with Griezmann it happened with Klosterman and now it's happened with Zakaria but Klosterman and Zakaria are the best two examples this guy was 130 during the game Literally, when Manchester City scored the first goal, when De Bruyne scored that goal off the bar, which is a nasty goal, by the way, this card went down like 5K. It went from 130,000 coins, a couple listings at 123, and then started getting listed, like started getting bought up after that. He rebounded back to 143. People were literally buying this card because they were like, hey, they lost. People are going to be selling this card. I need to go buy it because it's going to go up because, you know, it's just a very meta card. And it happened with Klosterman, right, last week. Um, it's kind of crazy this happens because we always expect these cards to drop. But part of that is that the loss has already been or the potential for this card to not upgrade anymore was already priced in before the game. So if you bought any of these in the low 120s, I missed a couple. I thought he was going to drop a little bit lower on the relist, of course, because that first goal happened in like the 20 something minute, I believe. So I was hoping that he would drop off maybe down to like 110. I would buy some there, but he just literally started going up right away as people started buying into him. But it, I mean, obviously since uh, Mochen Gladbach drew City, this card has been down a little bit. And of course, in the past week, it went down a decent amount. So I would not be surprised if this card goes back up to like 150, 160,000 coins if the market doesn't have any more panic uh, because this is a very meta card that a lot of people like to use. He links to that brand new Mbabu What If upgrade and Akanji who's going to get an upgrade um, this Friday night as well. So uh, that was an interesting movement that we had today. But now it is guaranteed that Varane, Hazard, Cancelo, Isco, Gabriel Jesus, and I think that is all of them from today's games are guaranteed to upgrade this Friday night. I, It's got to be this Friday night. They're going to upgrade all of the road to the finals at once. Uh, Europa League, Champions League, everything. They'll probably, uh, they'll probably upgrade them all at once this Friday night. So uh, Cancelo was down to like 400,000 coins, I think, during the game today or right before the start of the game. Uh, there were some people that I think were just selling their Cancelos pre-game to get the coins on them. And now he is back up to around 420K. So he has rebounded a little bit, uh, but he is guaranteed that upgrade. I think the Ricardo Perea what if card is maybe hurting this guy's price a little bit because they're not crazy, crazy different in terms of stats. And uh, especially when this Ricardo Perea gets a plus two today on Wednesday, I'm very interested to see what that does to Cancelo's price. Now, Varane's going to be going to a 90 rated card. It's going to be even more overpowered than ever. Hazard, of course, with his injury, um, 
I was really watching this yesterday because the hazard injury was announced. Um, and I wondered if people would sell this off at all because of hazard being injured, but that did not happen. He's still about one, two, 1.27, 1.28 mil. This guy's going to a 92. I mean, if you give this guy one more upgrade, we're talking definitely 90 shooting, middle 90s pace, and over 90 passing. And this card is looking team the season quality uh, early on. So I don't know how meta this card is in game, but uh, he looks pretty dope. Finesse shot outside the foot. I don't know how he feels, of course, but the stats look pretty insane, especially thinking this guy's going to get another plus one upgrade on Friday night. So that's a card to kind of keep an eye on. If it drops down at all before Friday night, we'll keep an eye on that one for sure. Gabriel Jesus is going to be going up to a uh, 88 rated card. I've always thought this guy was overpriced. Uh, 915K. He's again, he was down under 900 a little bit earlier. I think this card's overpriced too, but when he gets that next plus one, he's probably going to jump into the 90 pace. Well, he for sure is. He's going to go over 80 passing, and maybe they'll give him a plus two in shooting, taking him to 90 shooting. So this card will look pretty interesting too. Obviously, it depends on where the market is, but man, you give this guy a plus one, plus two in some of these stats, and this guy's looking pretty, pretty sick. And obviously, City and Cancelo and Gabriel Jesus, those are priced a bit higher than they probably could be because a lot of people think that they're going to continue to move on in the Champions League and get more upgrades. So that's why you have a bit of a higher price there. But if you made any coins in those GGs, um, honestly, most of them just went down. So it was a little bit harder to make coins on some of those. But again, one thing I will say is it's kind of last call for your uh, guaranteed profit on some of these cards. I sold Benzema way too early this week because this guy is at 400,000 coins and I sold him at 360. So I messed up big time here. I could have got an extra 50, 40,000 coins per card uh, if I would have held on to my Benzema uh, basically another day. So I don't know if Benzema's in team of the week this week. Obviously, you'd think that he is. He scored the game winner for Real Madrid, but it would be his third in form. Um, four in forms is a lot. So I'm not sure if he is going to do that or not. They very well could. But if I were you, I would just sell this in the hype because he was obviously like, I think he was under 300K. He was like 280 during the game when he scored those goals. He went up to like 380, went back down to 315. I think it is absolute lowest on Monday and is now back or Sunday and is now back up to 400. So I would sell that pregame in the hype. Same thing with the what if cards, right? I've got uh, myself a Sancho on my transfer list that I got at one point. 1.11 is the price that I paid. And right now the Sancho is chilling at 1.19. This guy really just does not want to move. He's getting the plus two today. Now, of course, with the what if cards and the headliners, um, we always are left wondering when are they going to upgrade them? Last week, they upgraded Pepe early, like a couple hours early. He had the upgrade already um, added to his card. And then the other ones came later in the afternoon at random time. So again, I wish I could nail down a time and say, hey, it's going to be this time when EA upgrades the what ifs and the headliners. Uh, but that is something that we, I guess, EA has not been very consistent with. But if you have Yuri Berchiche, I would look to get him out too. He's 125K. He is up like 20,000 coins from where he was post game. Obviously, he's going to look really good when he gets that upgrade. Uh, but I would just consider selling in the hype still. And I think that is all the upgrades will get oh malqui malqui's card no no mal they did not have a, a clean sheet never mind so i think that's all of the what if upgrades uh, with perea i forgot perea there for a second with danilo perea not danilo perea ricardo perea where am i pulling these names from ricardo perea will get upgraded along with berchiche along with sancho um and I believe those are all the ones that we covered them all. We covered all the ones that are going to be upgraded and Benzema possibly as well. So again, I would sell those in the hype because that is the safe way to do it. And that is the guaranteed profit way. And that uh, kind of would be just my advice to you. But of course, if you're trading on the market, there is stuff that is fluctuating. I keep backing in on the transfer market here. There is stuff that's fluctuating, but you got to get on the bids because this market just feels very dead at the moment it feels very dead there's just not a lot of hype chris smalling was just listed up at 635 and that is really low for him 633 he is 670 where he has been so you can find some footbin undercuts you can find some deals but especially on bid there's some good stuff out there now i will say thursday flips this week if there is no content today and i want to try to squeeze this in at the end um if there is no content today on Wednesday, no loading screen. That means no loading screen at the content drop and no loading screen 
um, later in the day. If there's a little bit of St. Patrick stuff, whatever, right? No big content about a promo coming that would that would not cause panic. Um, I think if you want to buy some Thursday flips, you can. But here's what I would focus on. I would focus on really meta gold cards and some of those informs that um, went up a lot last week that are just like your normal meta cards that people buy almost every weekend like this inform pugba would be somebody that i would look at for a thursday flip this week and again this is only because of the fact that there is going to be no content today if there is content today then i'd be a little bit more careful uh, but i would look at some of these meta informs like this zaha last week on thursday went from 100 and like 20 000 coins up to 150 he had a big big spike now of course last weekend everybody was scared to invest even though we had the weekend league plus objectives Everybody was like, nah, this week, this market's not going to really go up on Thursday. Some of the out of packs informs and some of the gold cards, even like I was looking at, um, I think it was Salah. Salah went up a really, really decent amount. He was like 90 or 100K last week. Yeah, at rewards, he's like 100,000 coins and he spiked up to about 120K. So, you know, that's decent profit, right? If you're buying five or six of those, sinking your coins in 500K and you're making yourself a cheeky 70, 80,000 coins that's not bad, right? That's a decent return on your investment. So watch out for just the meta stuff, right? Inform Bamba was one. Somebody in my Twitch stream earlier today pointed out like that second Inform 84 rated Bamba card did very well. So it all depends on what the content is today on Wednesday. If there is panic, if there is a loading screen or anything like that, look at some of your just Informs, your meta special cards that people like to use uh, in FIFA, Premier League, right? Some Serie A links, you know, just meta cards that um, people like to use in this game, those could be ones that you see fluctuate a little bit after rewards. Because again, there is extra demand for the weekend league player picks that are out. I don't know why EA is putting those out. I guess they see that not enough people are playing the game. I don't know what's up, but that is something that I would keep my eye on for sure um, for a possible Thursday flip scenario. Now, of course, if you start seeing prices rise, post 6 p.m. That might mean a little over investing is happening. So if you see no content, you might want to look to get on some of those low prices sooner rather than later, just depending because people might get out there and try to start investing. So a little bit of a longer one today, but if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.